Instagram Reels can greatly help you get more visibility. However, they become even better when you edit them the right way. So today we're talking about how you can position your text on your Instagram Reels. Let's get right into it. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I help coaches and consultants add video to their business. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss any of my future content. Now, if you've watched any of my previous YouTube videos, or even if you've followed me on Instagram, you know that I talk a lot about repurposing content for multiple platforms. So really, when you are creating Instagram Reels, one of the things to think about is where else you can use that same video footage. For me personally, when I create a reel, I like to download that to my phone and then use that again for YouTube shorts as well as for TikTok. On the other hand, if you create something for TikTok specifically, it might not work as well when you send it to Instagram. So that's a whole different discussion and make sure that you look for that YouTube video on that topic. But today, the whole idea is that when you are positioning your text on your Instagram Reels, you should be doing that keeping in mind in advance where else you might be using that video. That is going to greatly help you with your planning as you position your text along the screen. So let's jump into all of the different things that you have to keep in mind when you're adding text to your Reels. Let's get into it. Now, if you've ever seen other Reels or if you've made Reels before, you know that you need to keep the margins of your screen clear. The first margin to keep clear is the top margin because that is going to mention things like your handle name and it might even have the title of the music that you are using. So don't position your text all the way up at the top. That's one thing. The other margin to keep clear is the right margin. That is where all of the other symbols on the screen will show up for your viewer, like the little heart button to tap or the three dots so that they can save it and so on. So you don't want your text there either. Now the critical area that you really want to avoid is the bottom quarter of your screen. Any text that you put there is going to get covered up by a whole bunch of other things that end up showing up for your viewer. For example, the name of the filter that you've used for your reel will show up there at the bottom. Your handle will show up at the bottom. Depending on what type of an account you have, even the name of your audio might show up there at the bottom. The first little bit of your caption is also going to show up there. So when you look at your screen as an entirety, that bottom quarter is going to be populated already with a bunch of things that automatically show up on Reels. So the last thing that you want is your text to be positioned behind that. People at that point have to choose whether they're looking at the stuff that's already on the screen or reading your text. They're usually going to ignore your text. So really the biggest rule of thumb here when you are putting on text on your screen on your reels is to keep it as close to the center as possible. Now, if you are going to do that, then that means that you also have to plan out where you are positioning yourself on the screen. When you are facing the camera and creating a reel, then of course you need the similar margins. You need to keep a little bit of headspace so that it doesn't interrupt the top of your screen. Similarly, don't be standing too close to the right margin where again you're going to get covered up by all the emojis and things that are there. And of course, keep your hands or anything important out of the lower bottom quarter or the third. So really what you want to do is position yourself in a way that you don't cut off any of the margins and then position the text just on top of you so that that is as close to the center or just a little bit below center. Once you do this, you can make sure that people can actually read your text without any interruption. Interruption. I've seen some really great reels before, but then I've watched them with the sound off. So for me to actually understand what's going on, I have to read the captions that are coming up or the text that is coming up. If that text is covered by all the other things that populate on the screen, I am scrolling away. So don't lose your viewers by making these mistakes and putting your text in the wrong places. For example, if you create your video in CapCut and then you auto share that to Instagram, there will also be some space taken up on that screen saying that this video has come from CapCut, which means again, all of that stuff is going to go on top of your text. Now we're interrupting this video so that I can remind you to subscribe. I think you should do that first. And if you're interested in grabbing a free resource so that you can start making videos at home right away, make sure that you look for it in the description below and I'll send that off to you right away. So let's get back to our video. Now, speaking of captions, if you're creating the type of reel where you are saying something to the camera, then of course it is the best practice to add captions there so that people can just follow along even without the sound. So again, that means that you need to position those captions as close to the center as possible. 
As soon as they start edging close to the right margin or to the bottom, then again, they are going to get cut off. The thing about the captions is that they keep moving as you are speaking. So you might think that you've positioned it nicely, but when you watch it back later, you'll find that the couple lines at the bottom are bumping into the bottom margin. So just be careful of that. You may be creating a reel where you are intermixing text on the screen, that's the native real text, as well as the captions. So in every scenario, keep them as close to the center as possible. That is the only way to make sure that they don't actually disturb any of the other things that populate on the screen. Now, one little hack that I'll give you is that when you are getting ready to position your text, you can actually long press down on your text and then you will see that Instagram actually shows you the grid lines. These grid lines are your guide so that you know what areas of that screen are going to be populated by other things that Instagram is going to put there. So always do this. Type your text and then long press down on it so that you can make sure that you're not bumping into any margins. Even though Instagram does give you a grid line along the bottom, just to be on the safe side, put your text a little bit above that and don't go too close to that line. Now, once you create your reel with all of the text and the captions and everything that you want on there, then you can go to the arrow that's at the top and then download that to your device. That means you now have it saved to your camera roll so that you can send it off to YouTube Shorts or to TikTok or to any other place that requires a short form vertical video. Or you may even want to download it before you add the text on in case you want to just add the text from within the TikTok, a TikTok app or do anything natively like that. But once you follow these general guidelines about avoiding the margins that I mentioned, then you can use that video anywhere. That text is not going to interrupt anything because TikTok's setup is very similar to Instagram's. The bottom margin as well as the right margin are all cut off and used for different things. So you don't want any of your text to fall there. Now, another extra note here, you might be aware already that of course you can change the look and feel of the text that you add to your reels. Not only can you go to the color wheel at the top and change the color to something that is close to your brand, but of course you can also scroll through the different types of fonts and find something that is close to your brand font. Remember, the goal here is to be clear. So there are some fonts that are really hard to read. Not only that, but if you use some colors against certain backgrounds, that is equally hard to read. So make sure that you test out all of this stuff and see what actually appeals to your viewer. When you are scrolling on the gram, just try to make note of things that you see where the text is hard to read or whether it's cut off or whether you think that it is really nicely placed and positioned. Save those type of reels so that you can reference them back later when you are making your own. So if you like this video, I hope that you will give it a like and share it off with one of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe because every single Tuesday, I bring you a new video showing you how you can add video to your business. So until next time, take care.